the idea of applying large data science on large query logs in order to predict events in the medical space has also been applied in Google. One of the first things they're trying to do is predict the flu. The heuristic was very simple. If you're searching for the word flu, you probably have flu, and they show that they were able to predict flu outbreaks in the United States two weeks before the Central of Disease Control could actually identify. Until one day, the heuristic stopped working. Something happened that when you search for the word flu, you stopped having the flu. And the exact event that happened was the swine flu. People were searching for swine flu, not because they had swine flu, but only because they cared about the news. And this is exactly the problem in many of the things we do in data science and medicine, and in all the other fields as well. We identify correlations and not causations. But in order to know what clinical trials to apply, this time causality in the space, you need to go deeper. And this is where I went to a deeper project, trying to identify everything we know as humanity about causality. For this, I started taking data for 150 years of news articles, billions of tweets, and millions of web searches. And I built an algorithm that actually reads all this information to identify causality. So it went in the following way. It would receive articles from the news. So for example, here, US Army bombs a weapon warehouse in Kabul with missiles. It would apply deep natural language on top of it to identify the actor, the action, the location, and the instrument, for example. And then it would look for patterns that people actually wrote, this causes that, that happens after. And in this case, this was identified to cause five Afghan troops. I created a graph of 300 million nodes and billions of edges, having the entire human knowledge about causality, which started growing more and more until we got more and more data sources, even to the beginning of the century. <laughs> 